There's something unique inside this station. Layers of lush greeny and vegetables. Oh, 전 모르겠어요. 연구실 같은데요. So this is called Metro Smart Farm, where technology meets nature. It's a combination of AI and IoT located inside the urban subway stations. The entire cultivation process is automated by robots from planting to harvesting. There are five metro smart farms in Seoul. In this metro farm, seven exotic vegetables are cultivated such as butterhead lettuce, exatrix and kyperia. Some might have question marks over their heads since you would picture farmers harvesting crops at an open farmland when you think of traditional farming. And in subway stations, we all know that there is no sunlight, nor soil, or even farmers to grow the plants. But this is what makes Metro Smart Farm distinct. Sunlight is not needed. Instead, LEDs are used for controlling the temperature and humidity regardless of weather conditions. Also, soil is not needed as plants get cultivated with nutritional water sprinkled onto the roots on an hourly basis. This makes harvesting possible even in Antarctica where there is no sun or soil. Places such as Korean Research Station in Antarctica have smart farms too. Crops grown in smart farms are much more nutritious and safer to eat as there aren't any risk of pollution or pesticides. 농약이랑 GAP 인증을 받았고요. 지하철에서 재배를 하고 있지만 밀폐용으로 저희가 재배를 하고 있기 때문에 청정한 공간에서 재배를 하고 있다고 홍보관을 통해서도 저희가 설명을 드리고 있고요. Back in 2019, three organizations worked together, utilizing unused space to build a place for sustainable agriculture. Our system uses less space and offers faster growth as the plants are vertically stacked in layers. Every day, 50 to 70 kilogram plants are produced, which add up to one ton in a month. The harvested vegetables are packed into fresh salads and are sent to various places, such as the farm cafe right next to the Metro Smart Farm. They are also sold in online websites and vending machines. According to UN, the world population is predicted to reach nearly 10 billion by 2050. But the environment is getting worse to grow various vegetables due to global warming, increasing soil erosion, and so on. This could be the future of farming, to put healthy food on our tables in the future.